now that we are coming towards the end of these calls and we, we, we make sure that we have completed all the activities and assignments and quizzes, submit all the requirements that you have been given as activities that you need to complete. And of course, from the questions that you were asking during the live interactions, the most prevalent question that was in the sessions was one that was asking on how to create YouTube channels and how to upload contents on YouTube channel. So I'm going to explain how best you can be able to create your YouTube channel in simple terms so that you can also be able to create your own channel and then be able to upload a few videos that you'll be using for your teaching and learning, for instance. Because I'm sure that in many cases you'll be requiring to use YouTube channel. You, are, you create a content or your video explaining about some concepts based on your topic you're teaching. And then you'll also be required to, to probably share the link with your students so that they can be able to get or access your, your teaching or resources that you're preparing. And therefore, I'm explaining how this YouTube channel can be created. But again, as an activity to apply to make sure that you know how to create your, video, your YouTube channels and how to upload videos, I'll give you one activity that will, will require you to prepare a video. So that video will be actually requiring you to write something about this course, just like a manifestation or something, explaining about, okay, introducing yourself and introducing, saying about how much you've been able to learn from this course and probably how much, what are your expectations and what are you going to do after this particular 10 day course that you have been training. So it will be something like, okay, my name is Lucien Ngeze. I am a teacher at maybe Mzumbe Secondary School. I teach chemistry and physics, for instance. And of course, I have been using this course or learning through this course for the past 10 days. And therefore, I have gained a lot of knowledge related to browsers, TPAC, related to internet connections, sharing of resources, collaborations, tools like you know, Google Drive, Google Documents and all. And therefore, I plan after this course to be able to use this course, uh, the, uh, the knowledge I have gained from this course to be able to help my students use technology in this case because in my school we have some 10, 20 computer, computers which should be used to help my students be able to learn in the process while using technology as well. So thank you very much for this course and I hope we'll be able to gain other, some new other courses that we'll be learning together. So thank you very much, Lucien Ngeze, Mzume Secondary School. So this will be the, an example of the video that we think you'll be designing. So after creating this video, and you can be able to create it by using your, just your simple smartphone. Create it using your simple smartphone, give it to someone to take a video of yourself explaining about the concept, and then take, take it into your, your laptop or your computer, then upload it into your YouTube channel, and then share your link so that other people can also be able to be, see and see how you, you, you have been able to create your video. And slowly you'll be able to learn also what are the basic principles that you need to do. I'm sure in the next course that you'll be providing, we'll be highlighting about what are the best multimedia principles that you need to incorporate while you are designing your digital content, your content you are teaching. So this will be coming later after seeing the videos that you're producing and you're sharing so that you get to comment. So I'll put one activity in the course that will be requiring you to be able to record such type of a video. Thank you very much.